Hey y'all, it's Hoagie. Welcome back to my channel. My hair is floofy today. I don't know what it is, but my hair is very floofy. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's been five months since I've been on testosterone. I'm so excited. It's almost six, well, it's not almost six months. I have a whole other month to go. But like, I'm getting close to half a year. It's so awesome. Uh, so today's video is just going to be me talking about the stuff that's new and the stuff that's been happening over the last month. I got my booster shot on Thursday. And then this arm, ooh, it's still, is a little swollen. My lymph nodes on this side yesterday were super swollen. Like, ooh, I was concerned. But like, they've gone down a bit. But it's still, there's still something there. And I'm so happy that I got my booster, like... It's done. It's over with. In two weeks, I'll be able to go out again. It'll be great. But it was an ordeal on Friday. I was a zombie. I slept like 12 hours. I slept two hours past my alarm. I ate food. I went back for a nap. I woke up. I ate. I went back for a nap. It was, it was a lot. But I lived. And I'm here now feeling my average self. It's not good. It's not bad. I'm still mentally and physically ill, but uh, I'm here, bitch. Anyway, let's get started. My voice is still dropping, and I'm doing my best to not raise the pitch of my voice when I'm talking, like on the phone or with really anyone other than my roommate, including you guys. Like, I will tend to up talk to raise my pitch because, you know, as someone who was socialized as a woman, I have been taught that, you know, it's supposed to make you seem less, uh, less annoying, less obtrusive, less, uh, demanding if you raise your pitch or your voice. And, uh, I have been doing that, especially on the phone and I keep getting misgendered. Whereas I imagine if I spoke like this, like I normally do around my roommate, I might not be misgendered as often. So this is like my natural, this is how I normally sound when I'm talking at home in general. And I, even when I'm talking to you guys, I will raise the pitch of my voice and I'm trying to I'm deliberately trying to not do that. So bear with me in this video if I try to stay below what I usually am. But speaking of this voice and this pitch, I have this voice pitch analyzer app on my phone. And before I started T, like right before I started T, I did it. And I did the, the analysis. And you read like an excerpt from the picture of Dorian Gray for about a minute and then it tells you, you know, if you're in the female range, the androgynous range, or the masculine range. And when I took it the first time before I started testosterone, I was in the androgynous range. I was I was squarely in the androgynous range. I took it a couple of days ago and I was well and truly in the masculine range. I was like under tenor, working on baritone, like, I, I was there. I am, I sound like a dude, which is very euphoria-inducing, I must say. I am very happy about that. But I, I feel like maybe I should have, I should have done it more often, like once a month I should have done it so that I could have seen the pitch drop, but uh, I didn't do that. Um, I still need to do my This Is My Voice 5 Months on T video clip. It's not really a video, it's a clip. Um, but I'll do that today. Uh, anyway, my, my voice is nice and low. I'm very happy with it, and I'm trying in this video to stay low. And hopefully I will train myself out of talking like a woman. I would very briefly like to talk about something that's a little TMI, just a little bit. I will put a TMI sticker up there, and uh, when I'm done, 
it'll go away so that you can scroll through it. Um, anyway, I want to talk about vaginal atrophy. Uh, I don't use my equipment that often, not because I don't want to, but because I just, I don't have the urge to masturbate like very often. It's been more recently. My libido has kind of picked up over the last month, but anyway, I have found that penetration hurts and it never used to like this, the, the I'm used to the stuff that I use. My body is used to the stuff that I use. But this last time, it didn't hurt while I was having fun. But afterwards, I got up, I took a shower, I was walking around, and I could feel everything was irritated. Everything was, ugh, it was hard to walk, it was hard to sit. Everything was very irritated. And I'm guessing because testosterone causes vaginal atrophy so penetration can be painful and I'm really bummed about it I'm really bummed about it guys I <laughs> it's like one of the few things that I actually enjoy and I fear that it's going to be tough for me to do that from now on but I know you can get estrogen creams you can talk to your endocrinologist and they can give you topical estrogen creams that you can put down there and will help build up the mucous membranes again and, you know, get everything nice and lubricated. I use lube. I don't know why this is happening as intensely as it is, but like you can get cream for it, but I don't use my equipment that often. I really don't. So I don't know how much it would be worth to like maybe use it a couple times a month would I have to use it every day if I'm only going to use my equipment a couple times a month? So I, I still have to figure out if that's worth it or if I just need to be more gentle with myself, which is unfortunate, but that's very TMI. But you know, I mean, we got to talk about it. If nobody else is going to talk about it, if I don't talk about it, how are people going to know that this is something that happens? Anyway, that's something that I'm dealing with. Let's talk about hair. All kinds of hair. Body hair, facial hair, head hair, all the kinds of hair. Body hair wise, I am getting hairier. The hair on my arms is getting longer. It's not darker, but it's definitely longer when you look at it in the light. It's like sticking up. Uh, the hair on my legs is getting darker, especially on my calves. It's pretty dark. Like my whole life, you would never be able to see the hair on my legs. Like, I never shaved my legs, but you couldn't really see the hair. Now, you can absolutely see it if you're looking at it. Um, it's not as bad on my thighs. It's kind of weird when I do testosterone. Like, when you, when you wash, when you, when you alcohol pad your skin, you can, like, see the hair moving. It, it's just, it's new. It's new for me. And I'm really hyped about it. Um, I just noticed a couple of days ago that I am getting butt hair. Like I've already talked about the ass crack hair, but like the, the butt cheek hair, you can like get it caught in between your fingers. It's a lot. Um, which is very nice. Uh, also I have a happy trail. I've never had one before. I'm kind of excited about that. It's kind of cute. Um, I'm not getting anything on my chest yet. I've gotten some acne on my chest, so maybe that means I'll be breaking out with some hair, but hasn't happened yet. It'll happen. It'll, it'll get here. Uh, facial hair wise, I still have the mustache coming in. It's getting a little darker. I have some chin hairs. They're not, there's no color to them, but you can feel them like you can pull on them. Uh, I can also feel some of my sideburns coming in. I don't usually have such thick peach fuzz on my face and you can feel my face and the peach fuzz is coming in darker, not darker, but like thicker. It's not, it doesn't have a color yet, but it will, it eventually will. Head hair wise, my hair is falling out. I feared this was going to happen. I really did. Um, I don't have baldness on either side of my family, but when I'm in the shower, I will get 
stuff will be coming out, man. It's coming out. My hair used to be a lot more voluminous. I used to have a lot more thickness in the front here. Like, you can see my scalp. You didn't used to be able to see my scalp. I haven't gotten the receding sides yet, which was actually something I was looking forward to. Just the, the male hairline. Uh, I don't have that yet. But I am losing hair like right here and up up here. It Why? Why can't I lose hair exactly where I want it? Why are bodies like this? I know I spoke last month about my emotions and how I had gotten a little more frustrated and a little more angry and that's just something that happens in life. There are things that piss you off. There are things that upset you and I'm handling it pretty well. There have been a couple of frustrating things that have happened in the last month and I think I've dealt with them all right. Uh, I had an unexpected medical bill and I might have cried about it, but I wasn't like angry. I was just sad and upset and frustrated, but I wasn't like angry. I, I'm going to be okay. Everything is going to work out. It's going to be fine. But I, at that point was just like, oh God, I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. My credit score is going to go down. And I was just in it. I was in it. And, uh, but I got through it and everything was fine. And I don't feel like I was out of control or anything. Um, I know people who say that like testosterone makes you an angry person. It's probably propaganda against taking testosterone. I get that. I get that. But I, it was something I was concerned about. And I had told my roommate that, you know, if I get to be a pissy little teenage boy, send me to my room. And she's like, oh, I will. <laughs> she will. It hasn't happened yet. The good thing is it is not hot anymore. It, it's a little warm. It's in the 80s. It's, it's just I'm not sweating constantly. Like when I go outside, when I get the mail, when I go to the car, I don't come back and like, oh, like my pits and my body and uh, there, there, there was a time in the peak of summer when I needed to change my underwear in the middle of the day. I was just sweating everywhere and <laughs> that's not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore. I, it's nice. I'm happy about that because I was just really sick of sweating all the time. Cause that never used to happen to me, even though I live in Arizona and I was like, constantly hot in the summer. I just, I wasn't sweating that much. And then I got on tea and now I'm, I was sweating profusely and that's not happening anymore, but it's getting down. It's probably gonna hit 70 something by the end of the month, which will be nice. Halloween will be nice. That concludes all of the things that have changed or have been different or are new this month. But I did want to let you guys know I got the court order for my name change because uh, I got my name changed on back in September and I was waiting for the court order to come in. I had to pay for it and then I had to wait in the mail for it to arrive and it finally arrived. And now I can go to Social Security. I can go to the DMV. I can then tell my insurance. I can get a new insurance card. Then I can take my insurance card to my doctors and they will no longer dead name me because I see so many doctors and even like my psych clinic when I'm like, hey, can you call me Hoagie and not my dead name? They're like, oh, we'll put it in your chart. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't. They still call me by my dead name. But that's not my name anymore. Guys, it's literally not my name anymore. My dead name is dead. And all of these people are just using like a corpse of a name because it does not exist anymore. It's great. I just need to prove to them that they are wrong and I am right. Oof, my hair. Ooh. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for the video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys bearing with me for not putting out a video on Saturday. I know I normally do, but the vaccine took me out.
it took me, I was, I was, I was not a person for a couple of days. Um, other than that, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing. I do my best to put out new videos every week. I have a Twitter at Hoagie J. I don't post on that a lot, but I'm trying to post more on it. Um, please follow. I would love to be able to get your guys' input on things, put together polls and stuff like that. So please follow if you would like to. Uh, I will see you guys next week. Mwah.